Hi, I'm Morty from Ganalf Blends. I'd like to show you my really easy, natural, homemade, all-purpose cleaner that I use around the house for kitchen, bathroom, wherever. It's great. Um, it's really easy to make, really flexible. I think you'll like it. Um, I made it up, oh, a long time ago, based on this expensive cleaner that I really liked, and I read the, um, read the uh, ingredients, and they were all things I had, so I started making it, and I've never looked back. So here's what you need. A spray bottle. Uh, this is a funnel to make pouring easier. You need alcohol, which um, just rubbing alcohol from the pharmacy. Um, these are like, I don't know, dollar or two dollar a bottle. So we're going to start with that in the empty spray bottle. You need three tablespoons. And did you know that a quarter cup is four tablespoons, so you can just fill this three-fourths full? So that's what I do so I don't have to count tablespoons. So three-fourths there into the bottle. And then you need, you're just going to love all these numbers, three tablespoons of liquid soap. And you can use, <clears throat> excuse me, you can use anything here. Right now I'm using my seventh generation dishwashing soap. Normally, uh, but I'm out, I would use my homemade liquid soap. I make a homemade Castile liquid soap that's fantastic for shower, hands, whatever, and I usually use that. You could use Dr. Bronner's, which is the commercial variety of what I make homemade. But Anyway, here goes three tablespoons of soap. Put that in. See, this is so hard. Then you need an essential oil, and you can pretty much pick any essential oil that um, is normally associated with a cleaning product because it probably has all those properties. So without going into details of all the essential oils and their properties, here are some ideas. Lavender, tea tree oil, pine, or peppermint. That's normally what I associate, and I think it would be really nice to add some orange in sometime too. So basically you need 30 drops. So did you hear that? Three tablespoons of alcohol, three tablespoons of soap, and 30 drops of an essential oil. I am using pine, scotch pine. It has a little bit of water in it, I think. Okay, so 30 drops here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I need one more drop. What are the odds of that? Okay. Fill to the top with water. The water will help rinse anything off into the uh, into the bottle, spray bottle. Okay. That's good. And now you have an all-purpose cleaner. And something I do for my family, because um, the girls clean the bathrooms, and they might run out of this. This is a brand new bottle I'm making for another bathroom. Is I write on the bottle the recipe. So I say three tablespoons alcohol, three tablespoons soap, 30 drops oil, and then water. So if anybody needs to make it again, the recipe's right there. They can ask me for directions too, but it's right there. So I'm ready to clean my counter here. Um, this is pretty much a wipe and go cleaner. The alcohol helps everything um, evaporate and it does a good job cleaning. But if you're gonna be kneading bread or using the counter to roll something out, I would rinse it off just so you don't get pine or soap in your food. But it just does a great, great job. Hope you enjoy it.